Hey guys, I'm Shanali Thomas, and tonight we are doing a date night at home with my two good friends, Steve and Jessica. Hi. Hi. We are Good making night. some cocktails for date night, and we're gonna get some stuff ready because the guys are outside, and they are gonna do pretty much all of the cooking tonight while her and I talk about drinks. That's right, sangria, baby. Yeah, so uh, we are gonna make a little sangria. They're gonna be outside doing their thing. We're gonna prep everything for them, and then we'll go out and join them in a little bit. So. All right, to start the sangria, She's I the sangria maker. love sangria. So this is a drink that typically I would make the day before or at least four to six hours before and chill. But we're gonna do a quick and easy sangria kind of on the fly. So this on is a fly. citrus sangria. So um, I'm gonna start with a little bit of orange and you can really choose whatever citruses that you want. Um, I'm a Floridian, so I love my oranges. And um, to do it on the fly, we go ahead um, and I will squeeze a little bit of the juice. Is there a specific there. orange that we would use? Could we use like blood oranges? You could. Or... I'm a navel orange person. Okay. This is making a little bit of a mess. Um, but really, yeah, kind of anything that you have and are able to get in season. Okay. Normally with a sangria um, that I would make a day ahead of time, I'm not going to squeeze um, the citrus in it's going to sit in a large pitcher that's going to just kind of marry and percolate overnight or for some hours but when we're making it on the fly like this I'm just going to get a little bit I don't really care about having some seeds and just do just a little bit She's and gonna let me choke on seeds later and then I like <laughs> to make it quick and easy um I love fresh pineapple because you can't always find fresh pineapple right and one of the things I like to do sometimes when you can't find fresh pineapple is buy it before it goes out of season and chunk it up oh, and, and then, then freeze, freeze it. it. Um, and it, you can kind of use the pineapple almost as like ice cubes. So right. Can I we're steal gonna one? Do, yeah. We're going to do, you know, just to your flavoring and a little bit of the pineapple juice in there. And a sangria is really what you want to make of it. So get creative. Um, I also love a red sangria. Um, Anytime I go to her house for some kind of big party, game day, whatnot, she has like three big old fancy jars filled with two, three different kinds of sangrias. So yeah, you want to always. I, I'm I giving like, her the reins on this yeah. one because me, I'm just like, let me just pour some wine yeah. in my glass. <laughs> and you're and you're a white wine. Yes, I do. I, out, I so. yeah. But if there's any sangria that I do drink, I like it to be dry. I'm not a big sweet. I don't like any kind of sweets. So, so we're going to use, I love to use um, a light and dry pinot um, for my sangrias. And then we're going to top it off with a little bit of ginger ale, but you could add some club soda. You could add um, a sparkling water that has flavoring in it. So we're going to do Can that. Can I say, did you guys see how pretty our little ice, it's very ice cubes were that were in there? And these very glasses. Tropical. Yes. So mine says be mine. Right. Oh, and yours says All right. hug. So we've got that. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's Perfect. delicious. Perfect citrus. It's not too sweet. It still has the wine taste to it. I love ginger ale anyway, so the ginger ale adds just that touch of, of um, what's that gingery? Uh, kind of like the, the heat of it. Almost yeah, like, the, like a spice to it yeah. almost. And so. then you could also add some mint to it if oh. you'd like. Oh, so. I have mint. I do. All right. I like mint. So that's your quick and easy on the good. fly sangria. Okay. You don't have time to make I'm just it. Break it up. Time. Okay. So They're we've got good. some um, artichokes that are on the stove. I want to show you how I prepped these artichokes. We're going to do grilled artichokes. And if you guys have never had a grilled artichoke, it's a must. And you probably will never do an artichoke the old way again. Which really, it starts out the old way, but then you finish it on the grill. It's amazing. Okay. So all I did was I took my knife, I cut the stem off of it, and I cut the top part off of it. And then if you guys have had artichokes, you'll know that there's like this little claw on each one of the stems. So we're just going to take them, give them a little clip like that. Clip all of those off because there's nothing like going to eat one of these and then you get stabbed by it. All right, so once you have that ready to go, we're going to put it in a little bit of water over here. 
and we're going to steam it. And these two have been steamed. So I filled this pot about an inch high of um, water and um, just let them steam until you stick a fork or a knife down into the stem and it's soft and that's it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here because let these cool because you will burn yourself, which I am notorious for. Okay. So what we're going to do is take your artichoke. Do you want to grab my little garbage bowl back there? All right. So we're going to take it and we're going to cut. You want to have a nice sharp knife, which I always have a sharp knife. All right. So you take the inside of it and you see this little line. Just take your spoon and scoop it right out. You want to scoop that choke out. Y'all know why they call it a choke because if you eat it, you will choke. I'm not lying. You're actually not supposed to eat that. So you, you do choke. that after you cook Yes, it. because if you did it before, I mean, it would be super hard to get it in there. So you want to gotcha. save all, this right here is the artichoke heart. So you want to save all that. So we're going to stick that on there like that. Scoop out the choke again. And just get all that out of there because nobody wants to eat those little inside leaves anyway. I've okay? done that before. Yeah. And it gets stuck. Yes, it does. All right, so we've got those. You want to do that with your second one as well. We're going to drizzle just a little bit. You can use avocado oil. You can use um, olive oil, whatever you guys want, because it's going to go in the grill. And you're only going to grill this, this flat part. All right, so we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of bacon. Let's put some pepper on them too. Okay, just like that. A little pepper. And there you have it. These will go out to them and um, they'll stick them on the grill and you guys will see that in just a few minutes. But until then, we have to get our pork chops ready. So can I just show you how beautiful these tomahawk pork chops are? I wish I could take credit for it, but I can't. The butcher at the store, she trimmed all of these and told her how much I appreciated them. And she was very happy to know that. So a tomahawk pork chop, a tomahawk ribeye steak is just going to be this rib bone that has been trimmed down to where it's like this big long. It's really just for fanciness. But there is a little bit of goodness on here, which you know I'm going to get at later after it comes off the grill. All right. So we're going to use um, a little pork chop rub, which it has some bacon salt in there. It's got some paprika, a little bit of basil. You guys can find any really seasoning that you like and you want to be super generous with these because there's not a lot of salt in this. So you want to make sure that you salt it afterwards and you want to get this little side part because even if you don't like bone in anything, you'll be eating this later. Okay. So we need a little Okay, so we're gonna put a little bacon salt on these because they need it and they get happy. Okay, beautiful. We good to go. Mm. Mm -mm. See how easy that was? Feels like it. And now we are done cooking. Our part's mm. done. Oh wait, no, it's not. We have to um, make some butter okay. for the artichokes, Can which I'm gonna let you do that. Okay. Um, I've got some butter that I melted on the stove right here. If you want to grab that. Oh, Ollie. Okay. So we're just going to add, I pulled some fresh thyme from the garden. It's a lemon thyme, which is delicious. You still have a little bit of lemon from over there. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use your hand to squeeze that in, we're just going to put a little bit of fresh thyme in there some fresh lemon juice and what do you think of a little a little lemon zest too mm, mm -hmm. want to do that definitely okay so we're going to take that i've got a zester in here and zest away my friend i will drink away little goes a long way right yeah so the zest of a lemon is just going to give you that whole essence of, of lemon. It's very, um, it's very tart and you want to make sure 
let's show them that. You see this white part? You wanna make sure you just barely get to the white part and you see all of that? Knock that in there and it gives you just this punch of lemon. So even though you put the juice in there, putting the zest of a lemon in there is huge. So now we're done. We're not gonna right. use that spoon. Here, we'll use this spoon. A little wine never hurt anything. Nope. Nope. Okay. Now right. we are now. done. You guys ready for pork chops? We are. Okay. The grill has preheated for at least 20 minutes. We got it about to 400 where we want it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So we kind of have it at like a medium high heat because these bone in chops are pretty fatty. Down. If you had it too high, they would immediately flame up. So we do want to sear them, but at a kind of a medium heat, they won't, uh, won't have that flare up. So we'll lay these out. And what we're going to do is start with the bone at 10 o'clock. And you'll see why. It's kind of nice. Not having to cook. I know. And we want to close this and let those do their thing. We'll sear those on that side for three minutes. Like every time I try to grill a pork chop, especially any kind of pork, I always have a tendency to dry it out. Timing and temperature, so the key, and I think you already got one, is to get a meat thermometer. How are your drinks? They're not delicious. You can't go wrong with bourbon. Can't go wrong with sangria. <laughs> I don't know, that's debatable. <laughs> so we have the three minutes and what that was for and why we wanted to start them at 10 o'clock because you want to get that crisscross mark on it. Ah. So we're going to go from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Just like what you might have read in Driver's Ed 10 and 2. There it's easy to remember. Keep your hands. And easy enough. If you don't have the bone, you just kind of pick a spot on the, on the meat and, and keep it lateral with that. There you go. And then we're going to close that and we're going to do that for another three minutes a little bit. Can we can we get a, a, a comment on bourbon with ice? Bourbon, no ice. That What's that? Neat. That would be neat. 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 So what is it called with ice? On the rocks. On the rocks. On the rocks or neat. Or neat. So please tell us. And while you're there, <laughs> you can like and subscribe. That was okay, another three juice. minutes. Can hear the timer. I'm not kidding you. That is that is mm. recipe on the So we will flip these back to a tin. Those look as good as they smell right now. Mm. And now we're just gonna do the same thing, three minutes, quarter turn back to two, and then we'll take the temperature. When you go to the butcher, do you have to ask for them? No, like I mean, are, I found them like that. And then you've, you found the regular ones that are just already. Yeah, usually they'll have the, the boneless and then the bone in. And then granted, they, they make up for it in weight. But the bone in is usually like a dollar or two cheaper a pound than the, than the boneless. And I think that you can go to the butcher and ask them. I mean, if you're looking for like a tomahawk um, cut, you could probably ask the butcher. I'm sure that they would be happy to. Yeah. You know. Show some knife knife skills. <laughs> we're all we're always happy to show knife skills. Oh, look at how pretty those are. Yeah, nice. I have to admit, when I'm driving down the road behind your house and I see you out here grilling, I roll down the windows to see if I can get a wife. Of <laughs> yeah, man. When we drive by and, and we see you guys, we're like, darn it, the, the, the Thomases are cooking. Three of these are done. That thicker one is a little stubborn. It's just probably got a minute or two longer. which is okay because we're gonna want these to rest for at least 10 minutes. We're only gonna grill this flat side. Okay. Um, but while we're doing that, we're gonna leave the lid open. Okay. Um, because if it, it doesn't need to cook in the middle, we just wanna get right. the char. Right. Okay. And if you close that, what happens is the leaves on the outside start shriveling and drying out. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because we're just trying to get the grill effect. We're not trying exactly. to- Exactly, we, we don't want to get some actually of that kind cook of like anymore. That charred taste on right. there. Artichokes are sad right now. They're like, what about, what about, what about us? us, man? We have butter to get I mean, dipped they, in. They too. cheat a little bit because they get to get dipped in butter. Pork chops are my favorite freaking food to eat. I have to actually refrain from posting so many times because we make pork chops so often that I'm like, I know, I know, I know. It's another pork chop. And these grilled artichokes, I'm telling you right now, they're amazing.
you'll never make them the other way ever again. I keep seeing pictures, and these are my first that I'll have had that these guys have cooked, and we've asked for invites multiple times <laughs> oh, after the they postings. come over all the we time. We do, but we, we've been waiting for these especially. So today we made tomahawk pork chops <laughs> on the grill with grilled artichokes, and we've got a little seasoned butter and don't forget your sangria sangria the boys have bourbon cheers. cheers and i think this is a fantastic date night in dinner i know i'm ready to eat time I to eat <laughs> for recipes from this episode please find them in the description and please like, like and subscribe <laughs> i said describe <laughs>